Hi lovelies, today I'm going to be showing you how to complete this mermaid tutorial look. It is full of glow, full of gleam and full of gems too because this mermaid in particular likes her fancy things and you can of course embody whatever kind of mermaid you wish. I just feel like this is something that's really really fun, ever so pretty for Halloween and of course I'll have all of the products used linked down below and everything I've used in this tutorial is also cruelty free and vegan too. Anyway, stick around if you want to see how to complete this look. Fair warning to you, you can't move your face very much or you'll lose your diamantes. So, as long as you're okay with that, you'll be okay with this. And so we're just going to get started on our eyebrows now. Now obviously, <laughs> these are not your regular eyebrow colours. And what does that matter? Because you're a mermaid today, so you can have whatever freaking colour eyebrows you want. So I'm taking some Fashion Addict, which is this wonderful warm purple colour by Makeup Geek. I've got to say, this travel palette has fast become one of my favourite things to use as a mirror, like the quality of this mirror. So good. I'm ever so, ever so, ever so glad that I got this palette because it's going to be great when we're in Europe and I don't have my regular quadruple mirror setup. So I'm just going to apply this. Oh yeah, we're going bold today, guys. We are going bold today. So you can already tell that my eyebrows are fairly light. This color will show up really well. This is probably one of the one times I'm actually grateful for the incredible sparsity of my brows. That looks totally normal. I don't know why anyone would think otherwise. Why don't we do this more often, people? Because we are doing a completely different colour to the natural one. It's very important that you do try and cover up those brows as much as possible. Like, if you're going to go for a crazy colour, commit to it. I'm using my Pacifica pencil. Now this is the all-rounder One Miracle pencil in the colour Nude. And of course, using my pointed foundation brush. I just smudge it on a little bit. Decisions, decisions. One thing I'm going to do first off is I'm going to use a little bit of vanilla bean mixed with beaches and cream. I'm going to take that just underneath the brow bone. Why can't we just do colored brows and liner and stuff? I actually really like having purple eyebrows. Oh my god. I've become that person now. The next color I'm going to use is Wisteria here. This wonderful purple shade. Now one thing I do know about this one, because this is the original formula, is it's not as pigmented. So you try not to blend too much after the fact. But this is going to be kind of the color that's going up to our brow bone. So you can see the pigmentation on it is not too strong. I feel like this one is unicorn. Well, I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of Fashion Edit. So now I've mixed those two together on my Makeup Geek Soft Tone Brush. I'm gonna deepen up those colors a little bit more. Oh my God, I feel already like I'm gonna fall in love with this look and then I'm gonna take it way too far and then I'm gonna hate it. Baking is quite important when you're dealing with this much pigment. I'm using my Kat Von D setting powder. It's gonna pop this on under my eye. Yes, I applied quite a lot because we're working with quite a lot of color. Okay, so to just make that cut crease even deeper, I'm gonna go in with Unicorn again because it's so pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And I forget exactly what this color is, but it's one of the first shades that Makeup Geek came out with and it's a really, really dark, rich purple. So I'm just going to work those two together. I'm going to softly blend that just on the outer edge now. Now I'm taking my Pure White 3-in-1 Jabba Eyeshadow Pencil by Chi Chi, which is a dupe for NYX Milk. I'm basically going to go over all over my lid with this. So as you know, anytime you add a white base, it really helps make a color pop. Pat this out with my ring finger. I'm taking my OCC Loose Pigment right now in the color Datura, using my E55 eye shading brush by Sigma. I'm just gonna pack this on the lid. We're not going to be doing any fancy work with this, just literally like pack that color on, make it stick to that base. It's got this amazing duochrome.
And one other thing that we're going to do with that Datura is place it just underneath the brow bone because this is our highlight. Ooh, yeah. So now with this Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil, I'm actually going to line my entire waterline and bring that a little bit lower as well. Taking my Sigma Pencil E30, I'm actually packing this all over that line that we just created. Now I kind of want to mix Unicorn with Poolside for this, just to bring in a little bit of that blue ocean. And we're going to run this directly underneath that line. So again, I'm taking Fashion Addict and a little bit of Unicorn and I'm just going to run that right the way down. I'm just going to put on a little bit of liner now, just a tiny bit. Now obviously for me, because I've got quite light lashes and I will be putting on false lashes as well, it's really important to apply some eyeliner to just fill in any potential gaps. So one thing I do want to do as well is to just kind of set this in place before we actually start putting on any more um, powder as well, just to give it a better base. It's times like this I wish I had that amazing technology that just like perfects all of your skin that people keep on applying to all of their beauty videos and I'm like, no, expectations are hard enough to meet. Don't be adding technology into it, please. My partner just asked me if I was done. <laughs> Oh honey, no. There's a whole other level to this insanity. It involves stockings I've never worn. Oh. oh yeah. So you guys know this trick, right? You know this trick, so you might want to make it larger. So I'm actually going to stretch this across my face like this and just attack it. And so starting off mostly with Fashion Addict and then I might be taking a little bit of Unicorn and some Wisteria as well. This will probably make it easier for you and for me. Try not to do what I did, which was actually like move the entire stocking as well. Then I'm taking some unicorn. So what I'm basically doing, because I can't really easily film this, is I'm just circling this colour all the way around and down. And before we get started on highlighter or anything else, I'm going to chisel my cheeks a little bit, or at least this one here, maybe a little bit there, um, using Breakup by Makeup Geek. I'm actually quite tempted to take a little bit of purple in there too. For this, I'm actually just mixing together, again, Fashion Addict and Unicorn. Okay, I'm hoping that this one's vegan, I'm not entirely sure, but I really do hope it is. Um, it's the Moonchild Panic by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I just figured these colours, it would be sad to like not use them for this. Especially a colour like, oh, I don't know, Pink Heart, mixed with maybe a bit of Star and Blue Ice. Now one thing I want to do is take this quite strong above my eyebrows as well. Oh, I do really want to do the other effect on that cheek though. I'm just going to apply a bit more highlighter to that side now. Let's get some lashes on. Some mega volume because what kind of mermaid would you be if you didn't go totally extra? So I'll just put on my mascara now, which is the Bio Lash Lift Mascara by Eye of Horus. And I'll put on my lashes and I'll be back with you show soon. Soon. Oh, we are really looking ethereal now. I'm kind of in love with how weird I look right now. It's time to start sticking our pearl crown on. Don't make something of that. If you want to use um, ones which don't already have a sticky back, um, you can just use eyelash glue, which is what my plan is to do for the rest of these gems. But yeah, anyway, my plan is to kind of create a sort of a crown effect using these. Okay, this is going to be tedious, so I'm just going to speed this up. I'll just be back once my crown is done. I just wanted to give a uh, 
little tiara update. This is where we're standing right now. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I want to stick any more um, diamantes on my cheeks, but you can leave as is because this looks really pretty. What I did for these particular gems just up here at the top of the crown is I used some eyelash glue. So of course I used my good old faithful, this is duo lash glue, which is cruelty free. Um, and I need to stop moving my face because I'm about to knock off all these gems. Note to self you've had Botox or something. But yeah, that's almost this look finished. As you can see, I have used a ridiculous amount of adornation. I've, ad I've adorned my face with a lot. Um, now it's time to work on our lips. Now, because I've gone through such a purpley look, I just kind of feel like it would be so fitting to do pink. I'm just gonna line my lips using this Wet n Wild, and this is in the color Neville Petal Down. I'm actually so loving this look. Okay, so I did overline my lips quite a bit for this look because I just feel like with this intensity, if I didn't overline my lips, I just wouldn't be able to hold up to the rest of it. But Cha Cha equally would look gorgeous with it too. And then for lip gloss, I've got Wet n Wild, this is the Diamond Brilliance, and this is in the shade 611. Um, it's, honestly, I can't even describe like the beautiful iridescence that this colour just gives. I, I love it so, so, so much. So now my lips are suitably glossy. This is almost the finished look. Now, if you are someone that doesn't have a wig on hand, then what I would probably suggest with this look is either to do like the full slicked back, you know, it's what I call the greasy hair look, um, but you could just slick your hair back maybe with like a few shells or something just throughout it. I think that would look gorgeous with this. So yeah, this is an up close of what I've kind of created for this look. It's definitely, um, not subtle so if you're not wanting to get a lot of attention don't try this look i just decided to you know get my hair a bit of a toss up um but you know you can do whatever you want of course i anticipated to wear a wig with this but i do honestly just recommend taking this right up into your hairline to make sure you don't get this uh, ugly line that's uh, going on right. i don't know i just think that this looks so pretty and it's so fun for a Halloween look and if you are anything like me and get terrified of basically anything I think this could be a really good option for you as well the only downside is if you are someone that's very expressive like me this probably won't work too well for you having all of these on your forehead and you cannot frown you can't do anything you just have to pretend to be like a no movement from here up because you have a crown on. It doesn't actually feel heavy, it feels fine. Like, I feel like I, I can sense these ones that are going on along here more. But you see that just, oh, it's just iridescent, that glow, that gleam, and just, oh. I do hope that you enjoyed watching this video because this has actually been one of the most fun tutorials to do because how often do you get to put eyeshadow literally all over your face? It is so rare and I wish that we could do things like this more and more day to day because I think it's so much fun. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful Halloween if you're going to be celebrating at all. So my Instagram is brainyclair underscore vegan and I'll have it on screen and I'll have a link just down below as well. And I hope you all have a wonderful week, possibly a spooky Halloween, possibly a glamorous Halloween if you're someone like me. And I'll see you again soon.